Hi, so I wanted to show you my results of an informal experiment using tetrasodium EDTA. What you see right now is the soap dish on which the results are more visible. This is the soap in which I actually used it. It's colored with matter root. And here on the left, you can see the, the soap against which I compare it, which is being discolored by the fragrance Hensel and Gretel's house to a very dark brown. I used both soaps for about a week and I put them on the soap dish side by side and after a week this is what it looks like as far as the residue. The Tarsodium EDTA is an additive that is supposed to help with DOS, dreaded orange spots, and also to reduce sticky soap scum in hard water areas since it is a chelating agent and this is what I'm testing in this um, video. As you can see, the right side, which is the soap with the tetrasodium EDTA, seems to have left less soap scum than the one on the left, which is the one that doesn't have any additives. Next, I decided to compare it with another soap that may be a similar tone to it, so that the difference wouldn't be so contrasting. So this is my peach soap. And I did the same. I used them for about 10 days and I I will flip the sides so they weren't they weren't always sitting on the same side. And then after 10 or 11 days, I removed them to see what was left. And as you can see on this picture, visually there isn't that much of a difference. Now I should point out that the soap on the left has cured now for about seven months. And then the one on the right that has the tetrasodium EDTA has cured for two months. Now on the side view, it seems more evident that the peach soap seems to have left more residue on the edge of the soap dish than it did the cinnamon apple one, which is the one on the right side. All right, so the main difference that I notice is that on this side, the soap that had the tetrasodium EDTA the middle of these two sides been smooth and I can feel soap scum on the edges. On this side, however, I can feel some soap scum all throughout the bar, it being worse on the edges. But I can feel a film all throughout. Now I'm just going to uh, rinse it because it's supposed to not be sticky if it has the presonium EDTA, so we'll see. So I put the water right in the middle and then I just pass it all. You know, you saw me how they did it so that it they will both get. This side I feel some soft scum and it's but it feels smooth, very little. Now let me touch here I feel it feels gummier, it feels more on here. So it looks like on this side, it did clean up faster without any rubbing, just by the action of the water. And the other side, with this soap that didn't have anything, it still feels somewhat um, like if there was still some soap scum, especially on the edges. Here on the edges, now they feel clean. So it does seem to have an effect on it, but this was a very informal experiment uh, somebody else did a more scientific experiment and i'm going to put a link in the description box bye so ever since i made that experiment i've been incorporating tetrasodium edta in my soaps not every time because i forget sometimes but i try to remember especially if i'm going to be using a lot of colorants in a soap or if i'm going to be using a fragrance that discolors because at least in my bathroom if i use say something with activated charcoal the scum is just everywhere and it's hard to clean so i do believe it has helped and if you want to experiment for yourself and are wondering where to get it i bought mine from lotioncrafters.com and well, last time i actually i got it from makeyourown.com and i'm gonna put links in the description in case you are you want to check it out as far as the usage rate 
it is very low it's a, a small percentage I don't know it by heart because the lie calculator that I use it already calculates it for me so I just follow it um, and I use liecalc.com and I'm also gonna include a link to that in the description box so a lot of links in the description box check it out below thank you for watching bye